What's up guys, this is Fico, and uh, well, it's, this is officially my first entry in uh, the world of sports, and uh, using a brand new light, <laughs> up in an even light a bit, um, this is a softer light and I'm getting, I'm using uh, a can light with a soft white uh, G&E bulb, I wanted you all to see this. Crown for King James. This is on the newspaper. The uh, Miami Heat won. Uh, the entire kid and caboodle won the whole thing. The NBA Finals. They won in five games. They won uh, last night. Uh, 121 to 106. Um, for all intents and purposes, this is a blowout from the from the second half onward. Uh, I mean. Um, uh, my friend Noah was pinging me uh, the the results, but you know what? Um, a lot of <coughs> a lot of people will say that the refs won the game, but okay, fine. The reality of the of the situation is that um, well, you 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 can't always blame the refs. I mean, I mean, you can blame a bunch of OKC players. I mean, you can blame Russell Westbrook for for being a ball hog and a constant shooter. I mean, he definitely didn't do anybody any favors. He was doing, um, uh, based upon what I was described, uh, he, he was like 4 of 20, I think. That's what his was percentage was. Um, and, uh, well, Kevin Durant couldn't do everything himself. I mean, 10, I mean, 106, that's not a bad score for, for, um, for OKC, but you know, who, I mean, Miami, they were just dialing from everywhere. I mean, Mike Miller, who had been hurt almost all year, who was always having injury problems, came tonight, uh, last night, I mean, 7-8 to eight from the three-point line. Um, Chris Bosh was crazy. Wade was crazy. And, of course, the one and only LeBron, he also ended with a triple-double. Now, there are a lot of things that are probably transpiring as of now. Right now, uh, the entire city of Cleveland, they are all angry. Nobody wants to talk to each other. Nobody, I think if they see a Miami Heat fan, I'm thinking they're probably going to beat them up because, um, you know, Dan Gilbert, he said uh, that famous promise he publicized over in Cleveland, um, the one that got him in trouble saying that uh, uh, the great, the chosen one will never win a championship before the Cleveland Cavaliers do. And uh, sort of ironic how in just a span of, of, of two years, um, the Cavaliers go to become one of the worst teams in the NBA and there's LeBron's first title. Um, I mean, I give it up for OKC. I mean, OKC, uh, there's no hate. Those guys did everything they could. They played a tremendous series. They beat them to a bloody pulp the first game. But it seems as though after the second game, they were like, uh-oh, who are these guys? And a lot of people, they just, you know, they were naysayers. They were like, you know, no matter what happens, it doesn't look like LeBron is going to do anything. He's not going to... Um, he's not going to do, uh, perform uh, in clutch situations, and it turns out he ends with a triple-double. And, um, so interesting, because I have here, um, multiple MVPs plus title, and, um, there are only eight players who, um, have won three regular Most Valuable Player Awards and have one title. These, these are eight players in the entire history of the NBA who has a title and has more than three MVPs. Um, Magic Johnson, Bill Russell, Larry Bird, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan, Moses Malone, Will Chamberlain, LeBron James. Um, also, LeBron James also is one of few players who has a tr more than a one triple double in, in the NBA Finals. Now, uh, considering that he has been in the Finals f 
three times in the nine years, I would say he averages a trip to the finals every two or three years, but he hasn't had the luck. It wasn't until now, and uh, and I'm glad that he won because, you know, I've always been a LeBron James fan. I'm not obsessed with LeBron James, but I think after the decision, I really didn't see the big deal about, I mean, okay, Noah kept telling me and a lot of bunch of people kept telling me, look, he turned his back on his team, he didn't care about Cleveland, he didn't care about the Cavaliers, he didn't care about Mike Brown and Dan Gilbert, he's an egomaniac, he doesn't care about anybody but himself. You know what? Kevin Garnett left the Timberwolves after being there for so many years. In his first year as a Boston Celtic, they win the nation, the you know the NBA championship. Nobody is talking about how he took his talents to Boston and won a championship. The Timberwolves haven't been the same since then. They've been terrible. Um, I mean, I, I I compare that because you know there's a lot of people that think that getting traded up to get a championship to be in the championship is wrong. Um, I only agree with what people say if if, it, if he brings personal baggage and he thinks that the team is going to run his way, the highway. Um, but, you know, winning a championship this year definitely puts a lot of naysayers to rest. Um, I thought OKC was going to win. I was kind of hoping for them to win too because I do love OKC as well. But uh, I secretly had a, a soft spot for Miami. I, I really like Dwayne Wade. Chris Bosh is one of my favorite players. And um, a lot of people would say, no, the OKC was robbed, the fouls. Um, they didn't play as hard as they could. Russell Westbrook, ball hog. You know... They'll find reasons to why OKC is not the ch are not the champions and why um, the Heat are. But at the end of the day, the result is still the result. The Miami Heat are the 2012 NBA champions. Now, what happens next year? I'd like to see them back all together, including Bosch, Mike Miller, healthy, Mario Chalmers, more developed, and for God's sakes, get a center because. Chris Bosh is not a center. He'll never be a center. He's a forward, a power forward. Get him a center. Get him to be a scorer. Forget about trying to make Udonis Haslam the main guy. That's why you brought Chris Bosh. Let Udonis come off the bench. He's good at doing that. And I think OKC will sh could be back next year in the finals. Those are that's a tough team. You know, coming from last year. From the Eastern, uh, through the Western Conference Finals all the way to the finals, they can do it. I'm sure that they'll be back. I'm sure that they'll be revitalized. I'm sure that they're going to have come with a new drive. And God forbid if they meet again in the finals, it's definitely going to be a different series. And because I hope next year it'll be the longer full 82 game season with the preseason games as well, I'm sure that there'll be a lot more time to develop, a lot more time to scout. Uh, actual time to scout and get some players that will give anybody a good advantage. So I do see hope for a good future 2012-2013 season. But for now, the NBA's got a brand new champion in this on the house. It's the Miami Heat, LeBron James, uh, NBA Finals MVP, League MVP. First title, Chris Bosh, first title, and Dwayne Wade's got another ring after all this time. It's good to him finally be the champion. If you guys like the how the series went, if you guys agree that the Heat should have, are the are the appropriate like rulers with the NBA Finals, leave a comment below. If you thought OKC got robbed, or OKC just dropped them, blew it, whatever you like to say. Leave comments below as well. If you guys think that another team should have been the champion, who do you guys hope next year will be the champions next year? What do you guys think each team needs to return back to the finals, considering that next year is a good chance that we will have a full season? And 
how excited are you guys that um, you know that the season is over? You know, like, are you guys sad? Are you guys more like hoping for next year to be better? Uh, was the NBA Finals what you hope for? Well. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Have a great Friday. Uh, today, I've got plans to go see a baseball game. In fact, if that doesn't work because of the weather, I'm going to see Brave tonight. I'll leave comments tonight if I see Brave. I'll leave comments tomorrow if I see Brave. And uh, you guys have a great day. Peace out. Go Heat! <laughs>